Hello and welcome to I Trade Ames. This is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you what you see on the chart is how I trade the US 30, the Dow, at the New York Open. We call it the Neobot. What you see in the chart is that I've already taken a trade based on the setup one. So we are in a setup one right now. Uh, there is a trade and I'm trying to going to add on. What I'm anticipating is that the market will continue to go down in the direction of this wave three. So it's going to go down. So let's see how it goes and I will start my commentary live on this shortly. So let's begin. Hey. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Can you hear me? Yep. What you oh, hear? they kicked oh. me out. Uh. Get back in. No, 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 don't go up. There you go, stop loss to break even. Trail the candles. Oh, this spiky, spiky dough. That's what it does. Don't go up! <clears throat> Look at that. Oh well. I have another go at it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it was supposed to be here. It's supposed to be 54. Push down 12 points. Now we have to pay a rent again. Get out. So now we're at a rent. If only. Should be going below this. One last try. That is not good. Cell was supposed to be here. Anyway, go, 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 go. Let's see if it breaks the low. Not breaking the low. Has broken the low. Close half. Get the rent back. At plus 17. This thing is going. Checking those levels. Tell them candles, bitches. <laughs> Should have just been in this trade from there. 20 stop loss and 2R would have been hit by now. Never mind, it will do it soon. It's not trailing the candles. What's wrong? Trail the candles. Let's do it. Oh, the betrayals today, man. Look at this. Da, 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 da. Steve, your maid is not working. Okay. Plus 33, plus 18. Okay. We live with that. And that is trading the Neo. Done in three minutes. This could have been nice. Why did they kick me out? Man, I got in twice, but got kicked out. Never mind. Interesting. Dollar yen, uh, pound yen, had a nice H1 M5 pattern. Here we go. This was the M5 setup. 
Where are you, Doug? Are you there? Yeah, I'm just trying to learn. God, I should have put in T4. It's paused again and dragging in all sorts. I did have a trade, but I don't even know if it's what's happened to it. Oh, look at my exit, man. This is. This was a good exit. It it literally touched touched it, but didn't exit. Yeah. And I pulled the trigger. And Mr. Snowmy's code was not working. Trailing candle just stopped. It didn't want to do it. This was a setup here. Pretty good setup. So we took it here on this one. Initial volatility is now done and dusted. So basically, if you look at the hourly chart, uh, we have a kind of a bearish um, bias there. And then coming down to the M5 chart, not really excitingly going down, but it was going down. And then from there on to the M1, we have these levels, or we had these levels. Came to it, pulled back, and my thought was, well, most probably uh, spiked down. And that's exactly what it did, unfortunately, before it could hit my target here it pulled back got me out break even I got back in came back got me out I got back in then it went up and I didn't want to take a race a bigger rent so I took a minus 10 and then I got back in again here and then I got myself plus 33 plus 17 so they should cover this and hopefully 1.5 percent so it's simple but it's not easy i know that <laughs> because uh in the beginning when somebody trades like this uh, gets too emotional and all that so makes mistakes and then they want to trade here and then they want to trade here and they want to trade here and they don't realize this is not the edge the edge was here this is uh, it was forming a nice setup here so you know it it should have actually kind of went sideways like this but it didn't so you know everything changed and we know why it happened because you know those levels those levels were there I quickly printed them so it gives you an idea it's a nice reversal trade by the way on this time frame here that's the bullish pin bar it's a great fruit right at support so these are the ones that we can take you know earlier when uh, MH asked the question this was this was it Oh goodness it was such a good recording man such great questions it was nice yeah, yeah man it, it the, well, video, it really out. the video crashed oh look at that I was looking away perhaps I could have taken this pullback perhaps now it's hit those levels okay so those are tested as well so I can go long here but that would be after this now nah. hundred point move we have one pullback second pullback third pullback 
I'm not gonna take the fourth pullback, are we? So you see, this is the first pullback and the last pullback. But in this, there's a one pullback, second pullback, third pullback, four pullback. And then it hits the support, uh, resistance levels to the, to the left as well, so, you know. How does it look on the hourly chart? So the hourly chart is just a fake out followed by a fake out. Hits those levels, drops. Now there's a PC, and a PC, okay, we can go along there to see, so this would be a PC entry, this retest here would be crucial, if it retests there, comes down, then we are not interested, Okay, so we have a PC, but now a B trap is eminent here. So if this fakes out and comes down, this would be a B trap. Oh, you've already taken a PC. So I can already bring my stop loss to this level. I'm out of this. There you go. Six points. Quick exit. So we got a PC, but we got B trapped, which was expected because of these levels to the left oh no here we go let's do it let's go long let's go long yeah there we go we are going long we are long trail candle has decided not to work that's it today trail candle doesn't want to work so we'll just do it manually bring it here let's do it okay 12 locked. Let's see if it hits the target. Mm, okay, halting. We'll take it there. Oh no! Bang, bang. So, probably a 12 profit. Yep, there we go. 12 profit. So, 6 loss, 12 profit. Still profitable. Could have stayed in this. But uh, can't have a 20 stop being hit. So if it comes a little bit down, we're out. So um, let's do this again. Oh no. Oh man. It gave me a bad entry. Okay. Nah. So we'll give that back. Bad entry, give back. All of this uh, that's exactly what I was talking about I was saying we don't want to give it back and then I change the time frame so now from the long side we are in a loss because we didn't take 20 here I could have taken 20 here but I took 12 should have taken 20 damn it I'm trading badly now mm, another PC but we have um, hmm, Tiger Zone 1 is not quite hit but this wave is now done not interested this was a bad bad trade bad trade entry was wrong and exit was totally against my concept my philosophy this just spiked on me so, a 10 loss was okay on this, not 18. Fuck it. Next. So, we have a break even, a break even, then a minus 9, uh, a plus 18, a plus 33, a minus 7, a plus 12, which could have been plus 20, and then and the unfortunate minus 18 still positive that's the more that's the main thing that'll do i think that'll do let's go to the stocks let's 
go to the stocks chart now. I sold my uh, Teslas yesterday. So, change a window. Okay. Hit that like button if you're on trading view. Okay, so let's see. We have some nice, nice moves. Let's change this into gap scanner and a VO. So today we had pretty good setups on the M1. The gap scanner has picked three charts. One of them was this one. Uh, money could have been made on this one straight away at London at uh, New York <coughs> Open. 1.9 goes up. It's a blank screen. I mean, Re uh, refresh. I've changed the. I've changed the screen here. Okay. So I'm done with the Neo. I've closed that MT4. Now I'm looking at, well, ideally in the new year, this is what I would be doing. I'll be trading some stocks using using the gap scanner. I have noticed that the um, trading view also has uh, a pretty good scanners here uh, you just click on the hot list come to the top and choose which ones you want to trade today it's not that fun and I have a scanner of my own which is I think better that scanner had picked this stock so this is the pre-market you can see it was moving pre-market nice move up and down which would allow you to actually take this trade here at 1.9 and ride it all the way till 2.30 not the best but some days are better than others okie dokie now let's go to so the DAX has been falling today Thanks to these charts. This is the five minute, this is the one minute. So this chart has been dropping. Let's check the DAX itself. The DAX itself. So the five minute chart had a drop down and goes up and goes sideways and then we had another move down, which I wasn't looking at. Okay. What else are we looking at? Nothing else. Let's look at Bitcoin. It was dropping, of course. Let's drop to 18. Let's go to the hourly chart. I was long there, but then I got out. Right. Some trades here. For the shorter time frames is ripple dropping as well i had a question about this the other day so it should be somewhere in the trade ideas yes is it time to buy again so over here there was a time to buy 
Looks like it was not a bad signal at all. Let's look at some forex. Okay. Go full screen, buddy. Cadian. This would have been something. Hmm. Eurocad, Euro Pound. Ah, oh, this would produce a nice. This would have been a nice setup one on the M5. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look at that. Euro pound, one, two, three, ah, three candle pullback. Created a nice setup one. Euro pound, Euro yen is still going up from yesterday, curling now, but Euro New Zealand has been flying today. Oh, Pound Swizzy. Look at that. So the two candles and then a pause. So must have been a fantastic S2 on M15 or probably a setup one. Yeah, really nice setup. So this is the one that you could have actually taken here or here and just kept it. Same for Pound Yen. But then if you have like pound dollar and pound yen, you probably don't need pound swizzy. This was this this is the setup that I love. And this is what I'll be focusing quite a lot in the new year. Two strong candles, couple of pullbacks. It's actually three pullbacks here. Drop to the M5. Beautiful setup. Take the setup here. Let it run. <coughs> You wouldn't worry got about the, um, the direction, just the fact there's big strong candles. The Yeah, the trend of the day is what's important. Right. So okay. uh, look okay. at it from the... Um, we look at it from Frankfurt Open. Okay. And see if it moves strongly away from that. So it did. A couple of candles go to the M5, we can see it's a very strong move. And you know, we traded it on M1 here and here, uh, and then drop. So and then another thing is that if it's pound, we can actually go to we have three options, the pound Swizzy, the pound yen, the pound dollar, check whichever setup is the prettier one. And then in line with the daily trend as well. So for example, between the three, so if I go to the pound dollar, uh, look at it, the daily chart. Okay, it's hit some levels to the left. Maybe it's reacting to that. That's why it's going down. Okay, one good point. Hourly chart, not really beautiful. Go to the pound yen chart. Go to the daily. Okay, it's probably a fake out of these levels. Maybe that's why it's reacting. Okay, so good point. Hourly chart, similar to the pound dollar inside the gata, but really strong rejection, strong move down. Obviously, some news, as we know, uh, Brexit news, there could be a no deal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, go to Pound Swizzy. What's the daily chart go saying? Its daily chart was already down the day before as well. Look at the hourly chart. The hourly chart is actually trending. It's open. It's trending down. Two strong candles to uh, pull back candles or pause candles check the m5 we have a setup at least what you've seen after this is that you know that it's generally pound going down and even the euro pound is going up so obviously it gives you uh, i think the ideal entry here would have been below this initial spike down which has served as wave one for this and this would be the wave three so we have to like with this method, you want to f establish 
within your eight or ten pairs which one is hot today obviously uh, the pounds were hot and the Swizzy obviously created a beautiful setup one uh, which I could easily have taken around 11 o'clock so 1300 hours on the MT4 let's change that time frame uh, that time to let's say no, no just leave it leave it at original it's a pretty good setup one here so this let's see euro dollar uh, yolo yolo dollar so euro dollar did not create a nice lovely setup but swizzy did because you know swizzy is moving so it created a nice setup one here dollar yen did not there are quite a lot of opportunities in forex if one pays attention to it so what will be today's opportunities starting from the start again australian dollar nothing cad yen euro australian dollar i'll ignore these ones i'll go with the main ones so uh, euro pound really good opportunity why because nothing to the left check the daily chart above the box clearly going up hourly chart nothing to the left breaks out there's some news as well pulls back creates a setup for you on the m5 that's one opportunity euro yen there was an opportunity yesterday but not today euro new zealand will leave that one euro dollar yesterday there was a setup one here and a setup two here nothing today pound swizzy as we discussed this was two opportunities on any of these pounds so now we, like we've done at least three opportunities on them kiwi we'll leave that as it is but there is something on this as well if you look at it uh, but let's not get into that one dollar cad we took it here we took it here that's not bad swizzy created the famous setup clear move yesterday followed by an abc pullback creates a pc you know i just took this type of trade on the uh, us 30 earlier pc could have been taken below this or below this or drop to the m15 chart and trade this setup one so this was nice man i was editing that video the one that crashed should have traded this uh, dollar yen this 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 would be a uh, this is that similar type of pattern it would create a setup one on the m1 chart i think yes so we had a setup one on this we're not going to trade a, a m1 we drop to m5 sometimes using the h1 so the h1 methodology is better and then we had this so i think if one traded gold and probably caught one of the pound moves that would be you know that would do the trick for the day yeah yeah <clears throat> 